Hello my artist, I'm so excited to have you here ready to create art. I miss you a lot and I hope you're staying safe anywhere you are. This video should have subtitles in both English and Spanish. Este video tiene subtítulos en inglés y en español, así que si no me estás entendiendo, los puedes activar para entenderme mejor. Today we're going to make an artwork inspired on the book It's Not a Box. So in my folder, I posted a video with a read along of the book. So if you haven't watched that one already, go ahead and watch it first and then come back to this video. Okay, so now that you watched the video, this is going to make a lot more sense. Uh, we're going to create a lot of artwork using just a simple cardboard um, square. I got this one by cutting a piece of cereal. So maybe you can ask for help to get this done or you can just cut a simple piece of paper, use whatever square, maybe you have like a Lego that's this shape and you can use whatever you want, it's okay. You're also gonna need a piece of paper, whatever piece of paper works, it's fine. It doesn't have to be white paper and a pencil maybe some markers and colored pencils if you want to get fancy. So let's just dive in into the project, all right? Okay, so here is my little Nana box that I got from a cereal box, remember? And my paper. Again, you can use whatever type of paper for this project. And the first thing I will do is to start folding in my paper in half. I'm doing portrait way first. You may know it as a hamburger style and then the landscape or hot dog. Then I will use the lines that I'm going to create with this folds and trace them to divide my paper in four squares. You'll see, I'm just gonna get whatever marker, pen, or just a pencil, whatever is fine. Um, you can also use the edge of your cereal box to help you make a straight line or of course if you have a ruler you can use one as well and now I'm going to start working my creative muscles I'm gonna start imagining all the things that I can turn my box into I'm doing this by placing it on the paper and rotating it switching it up until my idea comes in and I think I got my first one uh, I'm doing a place right now that I really miss a lot Let's see if you can guess what it is. Yep, you guessed it. It's my art classroom. Now my video is obviously in super fast speed. I don't really draw this fast, you know that, right? So remember to take your time. What I will make this drawing better is the details. So think about all the little things that can live around your nada box. You can change the dimension and depth by adding things in front of your rectangle. This is called overlapping. Just don't forget to erase the extra lines when you're done overlapping to make your drawing look more neat. Also try to place your nada box um, vertical, horizontal, diagonally, on top, on the bottom, and just have a lot of fun with it. And I'm done. But if you have any color pencils, crayons, markers, or whatever, I encourage you to color all of the drawings, everything. Even the background? Yes, my kids, even the background. Remember to outline, to slow down, to stick on one direction and to try as hard as you can to stay inside the line. If you feel like you can color more advanced, don't forget to color blend and to darken the edges of your drawings. You know what I'm talking about. You've been doing this all year. You got it. Okay, get ready to watch some high speed technology magic. Ta da! All done. And you can see how I left my square the same color so that you can see all the different things I did. And that's it! I cannot believe how many ideas we got from Anara Box Box. <laughs> Um, I really hope that you guys are able to take a picture of your artwork and post it into the Schoology folder, the red one, where you found this video. Uh, that way we all can see how many ideas you all got and we can comment on each other's posts. I can't wait to hear from you guys. I miss you a lot and I'll see you on the next project. 
Bye.